So we're here at Rock City Mushrooms. I'm with Ben, and we're gonna go through uh, initiating lion's mane, Hericium arenaceus, and check out what this mushroom's all about. So you guys get your blocks in, ready to fruit. Um, it was stored in the walk-in cooler. Yep. And now you wanna kind of walk us through what you. Yeah. What you do. So we take a big heavy box out of the out of the cooler. Uh, it's got five blocks in it. So we just cut it open. Take a bag out of here. Kind of set it on a flat surface, and uh, a lot of times you can see on the lion's mane, there's already some pinning that's happening, so the fruits are starting to form. So when we cut our um, our blocks, we try to fold down uh, the bag over those pins to try to limit the amount of airflow. And then we'll uh, set it down here. Um, try to keep the bag up. Sometimes we'll even prop it. Like when we have them in the grow room, we'll set them right next to each other so the bag's nice and tight. And then uh, we'll try to cut right kind of where the, the pins start to form on that top. So just a nice cut right along there make sure that's and uh and then we'll let it sit so then uh i'd say uh maybe 10 days later i'll uh, start to get a nice big pin maybe we're starting to get into the fruiting territory here and you can see there's still a lot of stuff going on on the top but because so much of the oxygen is coming from the outside of the bag in the grow room you'll really start to see the fruit come from there um, and so this will fruit out into a nice large uh, toothy lion's mane like this for example um, but this is actually uh, our second flush so once we finish um, with the first one you can see uh, the remnants of our old one. So this is from our first cut and then we fold it back over and do another cut. And so this is actually our second flush, uh, but a f fully mature lion's mane ready to go. And you'd say this is about 14 days? Or yeah, I would say uh, from the time we initiate uh, when we cut into the bag to the time we get to a, a toothy lion's mane, uh, yeah, about uh, 14 days, so two weeks almost exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, should you we? Wanna, yeah, you want to? Should we do some harvesting? Do the honors, yeah. please. please. Uh, something I, I find that the second flush is uh, sometimes even easier to harvest, um, and it, it just really will pop right off. Um, sometimes you can get you know a good amount of uh, of substrate that comes off with the blocks, but it's pretty easy to just like to take it off you can kind of pop it off with uh, in that way when we toss it in here there's less uh, less substrate getting on our fruits and lion's mane is a really fragile mushroom right so I noticed that you kind of like avoided touching the, step, yeah. the spines here yeah because they can bruise really yeah, easily. especially as stuff gets more mature uh, and you get more more teeth, uh, you'll start to get some bruising, some like green brown, and mm -hmm. that's okay. It just doesn't look as nice. So, um, yeah. so yeah, I try to keep keep my fingers kind of underneath uh, the fruit as much as possible, and uh, try not to touch it um, as much. And lion's mane gets sticky too. You get mm. those spores on your hands, and it starts to feel like. Your, your fingers are stickers. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. It's That's cool. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen like pictures and maybe even like this one, you know, when you see the, the spines getting really long yeah. and shaggy, it's just like, it, it looks cool and it's, it's much harder to keep it yeah. in good condition yeah. compared to the, when the spines are smaller. And is there a way you enjoy preparing lion's mane, cooking it? Um, yeah, we have uh, one of my coworkers here makes them in a, into a crab cake. That is amazing. Nice. Um, but um, 
I like to put them in my coffee. I like to just saute them in some olive oil um, and, you know, sometimes a little medley with some other mushrooms too. Um, but anyway, I don't have a preference really. They're just good. Just eat more of them. Yeah, exactly. Great. That's the goal. Well, now you know how to, how to initiate uh, blocks of lion's mane and kind of go through the fruiting process. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks.